So Sean, talk to me about the impact of mental health and well-being on your employees in terms of culture and employee retention, as well as just the output of the work we're able to produce. Well, you know, working in an agency environment by nature, or historically by nature, uh, it has tended to be very fast-paced, hectic even at times, and there's also a high-performance culture. Our company is a high-performing company. We set a, a high standard uh, for what we produce and, and deliver on behalf of our clients. And so, historically, the challenge has been is how do you balance the need for mental health, emotional space with that performance? Um, but yet, over the last couple years, it's been highlighted more than ever before how critical it is that we do that. The pandemic, I think, certainly uh, uh, sped up that process. But even before that, you were seeing young people enter the industry uh, in, in that environment and they weren't prepared for, for those working those type of hours under that type of stress, uh, getting burnt out very early in their careers, uh, and then looking for something different. So for our company, we do hire a lot of young talent to complement our many experienced people, such as Shauna and others. Uh, we don't want that to be their experience. So. Um, the way that we try to uh, create an environment for them uh, to enjoy this new career that they're embarking on is having uh, workflows and processes in place that set them up for success. Because again, we're still, we still have a high bar of achievement, but we want to set our employees up for success um, through the tools that we give them, uh, the workload that we give them, and then they can kind of set their limits as to what they need to do. You know, so we have many high achievers, overachievers even, but they kind of set the, the pace for, for what gives them energy versus that being dictated by the company is that we expect you to, to handle this many accounts or deliver this much product in such, a, such amount of time.